first probably memory was um, I went to see Breaking, Breaking City and my dad used to play for them um, and me and my brother would always, always go and watch them um, and then obviously we played for the school football team Lothamere Primary um, and I think it was only about 80, 80 people in the school but I think one of the years we were I think the fifth best team in Scotland or something um, playing against all the Glasgow based and then number based teams um, just playing Saturday mornings and then um, when I signed for Celtic Academy it was playing for the school on a Saturday and then playing for Celtic on the Sunday um, and that was basically my life really for five, six years growing up in school. When I was younger I wasn't, wasn't as tall as like, I kind of stand out now, I was, I was tall but you wouldn't say no, he's, he's really tall. Um, I've always been a, like, a defender right back, seven aside and then centre half, uh, eleven aside, yeah. Everything we did was kind of a competition whether it was playing football or you know, running, running at the bus stop, who can get there first. Um, everything was kind of just against each other. But he was a couple of years older than me, so he, he normally won most of the most of the things he did. I kind of um, I moved in the summer, um, but I knew in the January that they were interested, and I was um, there was talk of coming down um, for training and stuff, and just seeing the seeing the facilities and that. But that never really happened. Um, and then when I went back to pre-season, I knew there was there was interest, and there was a couple of bids turned down. Um, and then the, when the bid got accepted, I spoke to a couple of the older boys at the club and they just said, listen, like, you don't know when it's going to happen again. They moved down to England um, and it would be good for you. So, yeah, it was, that was the one I took. It catches your eye that, you know, any, any young, young player around the country now that, uh, that makes a debut at, at a tender age. Um, and Harry's one that, you know, a lot of people were, would have been aware of. Um, you know, there's not many young players that break into the squad now. Um, you know, if you look across the Premier League, um, you don't see many 16, 17, 18 year old boys that, that, that get a debut so early. Um, but, you know, he, he went in at Dundee and, and, and did really well. Um, got some great reviews. Um, we've got a good, good presence up in Scotland. Um, obviously, uh, Mark Cartwright and the team um, manage that process. And, uh, you know, there's, there's not many people that go off the radar. Um, so he was a young man that they were well aware of and uh, we saw an opportunity to get him in the building. Um, we'd started to then build that pathway and I think Harry uh, recognised that and saw it as an opportunity to continue his development but obviously over in England. Uh, it's probably a different kettle of fish to, no disrespect, but um, to the players of Dun United but obviously we had Shakiri and Outovic and you know, John from Waters going, mean, these are the people that I used to look at match the day um, and speak about and I think it was my second day here that I was, I was training with the first team and it always reminded me of that um, the goal, the, the film goal when he, when he walks down and he sees the, all the first team training. Um, it was kind of like that and I got put into, put into you know, the little rondo possession box um, with Shakiri and Outovic and I think I was in there for five minutes and then get out. So that was kind of a welcome, welcome stoke, yeah. I, I, really, I kind of got told just the day before that I'd be on the bench um, and I knew that they had a a game at the weekend because it was Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, so I knew that maybe he was trying to save legs for some of the you know, first team. Um, and I just got, I think it got the last half an hour and it was, it was really good for me. I think I was still 18. Um, yeah, it was, it was something that I'd worked to do since obviously I joined the club, but I knew that it was, it was a hard thing to do because you know the calibre of players that were, that were playing in the first team at the time. So now it was a proud moment for me anyway. His error would have been in the team without doubt, you know, he's good size. Um, but he's a passing ability for me, you know, people don't, you know, underestimate, you know, he's, he's very calm on the ball, he's, uh, he's, he's very composed, he's got a good temperament, um, and he's a footballing centre-half, you know, in, in the modern day, you know, he has to work on, he's got some elements in his game he has to work on, he's one-on-one -on -one defending, defending in wide areas, you know, he's a big boy, you know, have to learn to use his body better, and his arms, and his, his, his stature, because he's got a great stature, you know, but, all these things he's going to learn out, out alone, you know. Um, obviously my loan last season um, to Ross County, I kind of learned a lot in um, men's football playing every week, um, but that was that was a really good move, I really enjoyed my time there um, and I thought I, I developed a lot um, coming back here um, and obviously now going on loan again to, um, is only going to, going to make me better as a player, yeah. You know, playing men's football, um, it'll be a different test obviously to, to Ross County, um, but I know their facilities and you know, um, everything they've got there is second to none, so I can't wait to get started.